Uh, hello, we're very happy to host you here, Bilal, at Compass for our seminar series in Hillary term. Uh, welcome again. Thank you. Um, so we wanted to do a small podcast interview thing with you prior to your presentation today. Speaking of, um, can you briefly tell us about the piece of research that you will be uh, presenting on today? Absolutely. So this is a, a lab in the field experiment where we gathered a group of Lebanese host community and a group of Syrian refugees in Lebanon. And we randomly assigned these people to different groups. The purpose of this experiment is to look at how natives and Syrian refugees cooperate when they have a common goal they're working towards, but they face a social dilemma. The social dilemma here, of course, is that they feel like there might be some competition, there might be some hostility from the natives to the, uh, to the refugees or the, the other way around. This is, of course, particularly important in a protracted uh, crisis such as the Syrian refugee uh, situation in Lebanon and other places in, in the area. So what we do is that we randomly assign them to groups. Some groups are Syrian only, other groups are Lebanese only, and there are some groups that are mixed, where both groups are sitting together in the same room and working on this project. The project is a simple public good game. This is something. This is a tool used basically by econom economists to tease out the level of cooperation, trust, and reciprocity between two groups. So what we do is that we make the identities or the nationalities, the composition of these groups salient through subtle differences in their accents, through a tiny activity that they do at the beginning of the exercise. And then they get to play these games, the public good games, repeat them several times, and then we introduce something called sanctions or punishment, where those who do not cooperate are also punished by their peers, by their partners. What we find is that there's a very low level of cooperation in the mixed groups. This is mainly driven by the Lebanese host community. And we find that punishment is actually punish monetary punishment, monetary sanctions are not a, su a sufficient incentive to incentivize um, cooperation. We also find that Lebanese host community not only contribute less or cooperate less with refugees, they also punish less. And we hypothesize that they care less in that environment. And therefore, when they share this public good with the Syrian refugees, they're less likely to contribute and cooperate, but also less likely to punish them. At the same time, we find that there's a, there's a high level of, or there's a prominent level of um, anti-social punishment in that, in that social setting. So how does your latest research in Lebanon that you've just described tie into the broader, broader literature on the impact of refugees on host communities and their, the interactions within. Absolutely. And we've done quite a bit of work on the impact of Syrian refugee crisis or influx, we would like to call it, in Jordan, on the impact on the labor market, both on natives by my co-author, by my co uh, Professor Jackie Walba, but also on the, the competition between uh, refugees and other economic migrants in the Jordanian economy. And pretty much the findings suggest that there's no competition with, with natives, but there is some competition with economic migrants. Now, this does not necessarily reflect the perceptions of the natives on the refugees. You constantly hear in the media and in some reports that there's, a, there's hostility towards refugees, there's a sense that they're stealing our jobs or they're overburdening our public sector or overburdening our infrastructure. And therefore, there is this sense that there's a competition over the public good. This translates into our findings on the competition and the public good in that Syrian refugees, or actually the host communities, are less likely to cooperate with Syrian refugees when they feel that their public good is threatened by the existence of this other group. Quite interesting. We're looking forward to your presentation today and uh, happy to host you again. Thank you so much.